Um, so, in this review, I'm going to talk a little bit about <clears throat> the Yellowstone prequel miniseries, 1883. Uh, now, let me start off by saying that uh, you know we we enjoyed the hell out of Yellowstone over here it's uh, it, it's a great show um, we, we really enjoy it we like those characters most of them anyways you know some of them we don't like but we're probably not supposed to like those people anyways um, that being said I, um, I I was initially reluctant to uh, watch 1883 because I had heard um, about two of the people who were going to, who were acting in it, and I didn't really want to watch it because of them. However, I was eventually, uh, eventually talked in, talked into it, and you know, admittedly, part of me did want to watch it because a, I, I love Sam Elliott's work, and two. I am a big fan of historical period pieces, so I uh, I eventually tried to put aside the fact that I don't like two of the performers and just try my best to enjoy it for what it was. And I did enjoy it for what it was to a point. I, um, you know, it, it's... Sam Elliott's performance was wonderful. Uh, I, I enjoyed his character, um, his his partner there, the the the, the, the black guy in the um, the Union soldier's jacket. Um, fuck, what was his name? I didn't catch the actor's name, but um, that character, I enjoyed his character quite a lot. Um, <clears throat> And, and the story was was interesting, and I would say fairly accurate for the way things were, you know, at that time. If you were going to try and do the things that they were doing, um, I had uh, the 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 problems. If I have a problem with the show, it, it, it would be that it focused a whole hell of a lot on um, on the character of um, Elsa Dutton. It's, you know, which I'm not sure what their reasoning was for focusing so much on that character, um, you know, like there was so much more interesting material just in the idea of you know this this trek from you know the the Fort Worth area trying to make it to Oregon, the race against the weather and the fight against the elements. I mean. Did we really need the, the, you know, how many guys can I, can I, can, you know, can I fall in love with on my way to Oregon story? It was annoying. It was annoying. And I, <laughs> the, the character got more annoying as time went on. Um... I didn't. I didn't care much for that character. There were a lot of good characters in the show, uh, ones that I did enjoy quite a lot. Um, just I did. I you know I started out liking liking that character. You know because we start out and we're you know it's the 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 wide eyed wonder that you know she is exhibiting. You know, and we're getting to kind of go along for the ride on that with, with her. Um, you know, she kind of introduces us to the world in some ways. Um, 
But, it, you know, it just, it kind of, it kind of spiraled after a while. It stopped, it stopped making sense. It, it stopped making sense really fast, actually. It, it, for, in a course of, like, two episodes, right there towards the middle, um, you know, we went from a place of, you know, th- this at least makes some modicum of sense, and I, you know, I understand this, to what the fuck is this, you know? They had her, they had her, you know, fall in love with one guy, and he, you know, he, admittedly, tragically, he gets killed, and, you know, her, the, uh, the, the grief that they, they showed with, with her concerning that was, you know, I felt well done, you know, it, 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 you would, you know, when you are, because it was, that was still a brand new thing, and, you know, it, they hadn't even had time to let the butterflies settle and the dude's dead. I get that that's gut, you know, gut wrenching and everything else, but then like in the modicum of a fucking heartbeat, you know, she's running off to, you know, play pin the tail on the Indian. And I don't, I don't fucking get that. Like in my mind, that makes it look as if the first guy didn't mean all that much to you in the first place, you know? And I feel like that character wasn't actually in love with anybody. I think she was in love with the idea of being in love. And, um, you know, I, I, I do, I, I, as much as I don't want to agree with, uh, you know, Tim McGraw's character, uh, he was right when he told her, you don't know what that word means. Because she didn't. She really didn't. Um, but the, the, the drama of the teenage girl on the Oregon Trail aside, I did enjoy the show. Um, you know, I will say this much. I am enjoying 1923 a whole hell of a lot more. And when that show ends, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll have a talk about that, but I, I definitely am enjoying 1923 more, and I most certainly enjoy Yellowstone more. But, um, you know, 1883 was enjoyable. Just a couple of, you know, a couple of annoying things, in my opinion. You know, maybe there's somebody out there, you know, who, it, it, you know, in between their mountain of tissues is saying, No, she was justified. Maybe. I don't know. I, I, if there is a person like that, I don't think me and them would agree on a whole hell of a lot if we talked about things. So, <laughs> that being said, um, so that, the, my, that was my, my review, uh, so to speak, for 1883. It's definitely worth a watch. Just uh, prepare yourself for the teenage melodramatics. So, that being said, I am Ken Carnage, and until next time, remember that Carnage is right around